Hi, this is Karen from Northern Maine, and I'm here with my best bud, Natilla Bragg, at the Not to Bragg Farm in Wade, Maine. And uh, she's got something pretty awesome that I'd like to share with you. It's, um, it's called the Healing Water Salve. And it's pretty interesting because, well, I'll let her tell the story, but the big thing is you can mix water and oil. And it does, it does work. She just had to find the way to do it. So, Natilla, you want to tell these people about yeah. the healing water? The healing water salve is one of the most impressive things uh, in that, that you boil herbs mm -hmm. in water for three solid days. Wow. And you compress them down into a chicken soup of salves. Okay, so it's water that you're mixing, er herbs and water, they're being boiled. And they're being boiled okay. for three solid and days. And you don't lose essence? You don't. Well, I don't know what you lose, but I know what you gain. Oh, wow. And what you gain is a powerful, powerful salve. Hmm. And uh, it, it's literally good for any warm-blooded animal, really? including people. You can use it anywhere, mm -hmm. at any time, and it completely and absolutely takes the pain away from a burn. Wow. No burn. Just no burn. sensation. That's it. Wow. You can take a blister and put that on there. It will burn for about 15 minutes. Then it quits hurt. It doesn't hurt anymore. The next morning it will be kind of glassy looking. Mm -hmm. Shiny. Pink. Just shiny. Really? No pain. Hmm. Day later it just washes off and your skin is normal. Wow. It's this like miraculous. Kind of scary. Yeah, <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is a 17th century technique mm -hmm. where you where you boil and condense the herb down mm -hmm. and and we're talking eight herbs actually. Okay. And the gypsies used to travel they would travel long and large distances and they would harvest as they went along. Cool. And they would just keep them, keep adding to the pot and then when they stopped, they would put it in a big cauldron and they would literally cook it for three days. They would have only one salve mm -hmm. that took care of everything. Wow. Did they? For their horses, their dogs, their goats, whatever, and all of their people for burns and, and infections and cuts and scratches and and so all it was of like the above. like a boo-boo reliever kind of thing. Yeah, but it was it's a pain reliever, number mm -hmm. one. It's a very powerful um, uh, antibiotic. Mm -hmm. And uh, does it have like a sealing property? Or yes, it actually seals the wound. It mm -hmm. makes its own bandage. Wow. Indeed, that's what I was trying to do. I was yeah. trying to make my own bandage um, for people who had psoriasis. Okay. So that, because the salves are quite greasy that work well, yeah. and I was trying to incorporate those same elements into a salve that would seal mm -hmm. so that it wouldn't get all over right. your clothes. Yeah. It, I've it, done that. Yeah. A lot of, lot of oils, like the olive oils, they're sure, heavy. Sure, sure. And they, they just soil your clothes and you can't get it out. It's just, no matter yeah. how much done. So that's <laughs> what I was trying to do. That, yeah. was, that was the main focus. And then I had a, a young lady in my class. Mm -hmm. And she, each time I was doing the salve making class, she said, oh, we cook ours forever. You know, and yeah. I'm going, she had never made salve before. Yeah. But she kept saying her formula, her mm -hmm. formula. Well, she had her own formula, yeah. and and I have my own formula. But the technique of how you go about making making oil and and water mixed together into a salve that yeah. makes its own bandage yeah. is nothing short of miraculous. Yeah. But it was an old gypsy technique, huh. and so I had my formula. Yeah. But the technique she was using. This lady That's that sat in my needed. class was yeah. the very key yeah. because you needed a gypsy technique yeah. in order to put together what formula that I had. Yeah. And what I come out with was healing water salve. Huh. And uh, oh my <laughs> word, it is so cool. Yeah. And uh, it, it's one of the more expensive things that I carry, but it is also, it takes me three days to make. Well. Not only that, but doesn't it like last forever? I mean, doesn't pretty it? much. I mean, pretty that's something forever. that you would put in a camp. 
Yeah. And it's and just or the same in kit. your in your glove compartment no. yeah. or they're in like fat jumbo tubes like a giant like a giant lip balm, uh, lip balm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you can put, carry it right in your purse. Now yeah. if you get a burn, yeah. You just put that right on. Yeah. And my heaven's sakes. Mm. Um I had to laugh because the lady that helps me here with my seminars, mm -hmm. she she is the fabulous cook, but she can't go near the stove without getting burned. <laughs> and it's like, you know, she has these big, brown, ugly marks all over her arms, and I'm looking, I'm torturing this woman, you yeah. know. And no, uh, she loves it. Uh, yeah. But well, I'm sure she doesn't love getting burned. No, she does a lot. Of, and they leave big scars mm -hmm. on her. So I had just finished it, and I was telling regaling everybody with how wonderful the salve was mm -hmm. and she was busy and she just got burnt and mm -hmm. she got a whopper right across her arm and uh and <laughs> and she said where's that stuff you said it's the super duper stuff and and she put that on mm -hmm. and and she continued to to oh. help with the meal and and finish cooking mm -hmm. and at the end of the class i said how's your burn mm -hmm. she goes what burn I said, the one you, the one on you your arm. <laughs> oh, and she looked, she said, well, it's almost gone. And I said, it can't be. That was, uh, that was blistered. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was kind of glassy looking. Mm -hmm. The next day it was gone. Mm -hmm. No scar no at pain. all. And yeah. no pain. Yeah. She didn't know she'd been burned after 15 minutes. Oh, no. And I'm like, whoa. And then I have to laugh. Well, that's because, Sandy. Yeah, that's Sandy. <laughs> and, and she goes, you should tell somebody. And I'm going, <laughs> and who can we tell? <laughs> and <laughs> well, I told uh, 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 Dr. Rob from mm. from uh, the Shrine Burn Center. Oh wow! In Boston. Well, you're right. And uh, he was very interested. Yeah. And um, should they be in line for a staff, they're certainly going to look at mine. Cool. Which is way cool. Yeah. On the other hand, in the meantime. All these people that get burned mm -hmm. and use this, mm -hmm. it, and I've used it myself, yeah. um, it works so good. It really does. If you know what the pain of a burn is mm -hmm. that goes on for days and days, yeah. and it, every time you bump it, it hurts all over again, yeah. well, figure 15 minutes, you're going to feel the burning, yeah. and then after that, nothing. Wow. And tomorrow or the day after that nothing nothing yep. and nothing wow. that is so cool yeah and the fact that it leaves no scar mm -hmm. so uh anyway it, it's it's really it's an incredible mm -hmm. product but it, the most incredible part is it's a technique from the 17th century yeah and, and they it, gathered things as they're traveling on these nomad, nomads. Well, it's would, Romanian. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and it actually has a name. I did some research mm -hmm. on it. And it's called uh, Ma, Ma, Merpa. Merpa. Huh. And, uh, and it, means, it <laughs> means coming and going. Oh, no kidding. So wow. whether it's coming yeah. or going, yeah. it clears it's it up either you. way. Yeah. And is that cool? Yeah. Now, if I could have figured that out earlier, I might have <laughs> called it coming and going, Seth. Yeah. But, no, that's, but as it, that's healing water school. But as it is, it's healing waters. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did they dry the plants when they got them, or did they just they most, edit it most to a of them, Most of them are dried, but mm -hmm. you can now, like the mullein mm -hmm. that's used in there, you, you harvest it and yeah. put it right in the pot. Wow. How way cool, cool is that? That's way cool. That is and so thanks, cool. And thanks, Andy, for burning your hands so we got proof positive. <laughs> no problem. I have <laughs> one hand. <laughs> one hand. They're, they're, you could be on one of them uh, magic Yeah, commercials. no scars. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is Karen from Northern Maine thanking Natilla Bragg from Not to Rag Farm and Sandy for burning her hand. <laughs> and keep an eye out. There'll be more. <laughs> okay.